Ah, uh, many did wake up this morning unable to access their emails, even their banking apps. It's all due to two separate outages with Microsoft and CrowdStrike. We are joined now by Ferris State University's Greg Gogolin, Professor of Artificial Intelligence and Information Security and Intelligence. And Professor, what is the difference between these two outages? Well, the Microsoft outage was a cloud services outage, uh, which um, is where people run their applications and so forth, maybe for corporations and such. The CrowdStrike outage, which was the big one, was the uh, kind of the uh, it's a service that provides cybersecurity um, to a host of different organizations, institutions, and um, industries. And the the CrowdStrike one is the one that backed everybody up at the airport and that kind of thing. I understand that you have several graduates working both for Microsoft and CrowdStrike. Have you heard from them about what happened? No. When there's uh, an outage like this, uh, you talk to them after after the, the stress period. Right Right now it's a pretty stressful time. And, you know, there's already all kinds of people trying to contact them. So uh, you've you got to give them a little bit of space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably a very stressful day for them. Uh, we did see the impacts, as you mentioned, in the travel industry as well as the financial industry. What implications can we see going forward from today's outage? Well, there's a few things. Uh, one is you, the, the way these um, security out updates were passed out, uh, it, it kind of bypasses the IT infrastructure and it's kind of an automatic type thing, kind of like a service. Uh, and the challenge with that is... Uh, IT doesn't necessarily know that they're coming. And you, you, the testing is kind of left up to uh, a different method, if you will, be, because testing is what would potentially catch these types of errors. And uh, organizations are gonna demand a little bit more notice and a little better uh, testing structure for this, uh, as well as probably a, a little bit different way um, that the, uh, the software is architected. Uh, because to catch the cybersecurity threats, it has to have a very high level of uh, authorization on the on the computers that it's running on, um, and and that in itself causes some challenges. And that's why it's taken so long to do the the recovery, uh, because it's um, kind of a go to each workstation individually type of thing right now. Mm -hmm. Have to just wait and see what happens after this. Certainly might change some things. Greg Goglin, Professor of Artificial Intelligence and Information Security and Intelligence at Ferris State. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.